This math knowledge practice test question for the ASFAB and PICAT says, which of the following is a prime number? So again, a number is considered prime if it's only divisible by one in itself. So for example, five is a prime number because it's only divisible by one in five, that is one in itself. Now to quickly determine which of these numbers is prime, we can actually make use of what are called divisibility rules to see if these numbers are divisible by something other than one in itself. Specifically, we're going to use the divisibility rules for 2, 3, and 5 if needed. Now, right away, you should say to yourself, 49 divided by 7 is 7. So since 49 is divisible by something other than 1 in itself, we know right away 49 is not a prime number. Now, let's check the divisibility rule for 2. It says, if the last digit in the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then that number is divisible by 2 and can't be prime. We look at the last digits in all of our answer choices. They're all 9. So the divisibility rule for 2 really doesn't help us in this case. Let's take a look at the divisibility rule uh, for 3. The divisibility rule for 3 says, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then that number itself is divisible by 3 and cannot be prime. So let's start with A. We have the number 39. What is the sum of its digits? That's going to be 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9 is 9, 10, 11, 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? 12 divided by 3 is 4. Therefore, I know A, 39, is divisible by 3 and can't be prime. Let's take a look at 69. Again, according to the divisibility rule for 3, we're going to sum its digits. So we're going to do 6 plus 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? 15 divided by 3 is 5. Since the sum of the digits in 69 is divisible by 3, I know 69 is also divisible by 3 and can't be prime. So by process of elimination, we know the correct answer to this one is C.